So I want to jump into now in dealing with some objections that we get to going and preaching the gospel in front of abortion mills. And sadly to say, and I'm going to say that I'm guilty of this at one point in time in my life, Christians are ones who give us a lot of the pushback for what we're doing. That's right. Because they say what we're doing is not loving. They say what we're doing is not loving. But here's really what they're saying. That we're being confrontational and that we aren't being kind by confronting people in their sin. I would say a couple things to that. First, I would say, did Jesus ever confront people of their sin? Did he confront people of their sin? What did he say to the woman at the well when he sent her away? He said, go and sin no more. Right? Jesus cares very much about the law of God. God cares very much about his own law. He cares very much about it. So when they say we aren't being loving, they're really saying that we aren't being kind in what we're doing. And I have a couple responses to that biblically, but before I get into those, I just want to say this. There is fruit in this ministry. We are saving lives. I would ask them, where is your fruit? What are you doing? Where is your fruit? What are you doing? Are lives being saved? Well, in doing what we're doing, there's lives being saved. So should this child not be alive? Should they be dead instead? Because they were saved as a result of this ministry. John 15, 12 through 13 says, This is my commandment, that you love one another as I loved you. Greater love has no, no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friend. That is love. Sacrificial. It's sacrificial. Romans 12, 9 says, Let love be genuine. Arbor what is evil and hold fast to what is good. Love has to be defined and God defines it for us. Love doesn't just love everything. Love doesn't just tolerate everything. Think about that. Amen. It says love arbors, hates what is evil, and clings to what is good. And Romans 13, 9 through 10 wraps it up for us. It says, for the commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and any other commandment are summed up in this word. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbor. Therefore, love is fulfilling the law. Love doesn't kill a neighbor. Love doesn't steal from or covet. Love is that we lay down our lives for our brothers and sisters, that we lay down our lives for our neighbor. Love hates what is evil and clings to what is good. I cannot imagine something more loving than going and pleading for the lives of innocent children by preaching the gospel to people who are on their way to hell and warning them of the wrath to come. Amen. And as I said, another response to it is, it's a commandment of God to rescue those who are unjustly sentenced to die. It is a command. Rescue those who are being taken away to death. Simplify. Children are being murdered. And if you're angry about me being here and preaching the gospel, shouldn't you be more angry about the children that are being killed inside? Come on. Right. Amen. It's an opportunity for them to hear the good news. 